And 10 TV's Ashley Barry shows us the measures law enforcement officers took to keep everyone safe. It's new at 6. As the Cap City Half Marathon kicked off, security measures were well in place. Garbage cans marked temporarily out of service, bomb sniffing dogs on patrol, and just about everywhere you looked, a uniformed police officer on guard. Today we saw a lot of um, helicopters and a little bit more presence of people walking around. Also new this year, for any runner who wants to check their gear bag, not only are they checked by bomb sniffing dogs, but they're also issued a tag for their identification. They really they really wanted to make sure that this was a secure event. They really wanted to make sure that people felt comfortable and confident that when they left to go do their race, that their bag was going to be safe and that the people working with the bags were going to be safe. Race organizers tell 10TV they met the day after the bombings at the Boston Marathon to discuss a plan for increased security and it appears to have worked. The race went off without a hitch. And, but I think it's really good just to show that America is strong and, and we trust that security will be what it needs to be and I'm just here to really run a good race. Reporting in Columbus, Ashley Berry, 10TV News.